the player after the Manchester United story decided to call himself out of the transfer window and to continue at Chelsea and to fight for his play. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Fabrizio Romano here as always to keep you posted on the transfer market. Today, guys, I wanted to bring you behind the scenes of Mark Cucurella. Deal collapsed in the final days of the transfer window, but also something behind the scenes from January and what's next. And also a breaking exclusive news on the future of Bruno Guimaraes with Newcastle. Let's jump into it together. And so guys, let me start with Mark Cucurella because his name was around in the final days of the transfer window and it was an exclusive news I told you about Mark Cucurella and Manchester United. A very concrete deal collapsed in the final 24, 48 hours of the transfer window. Why? Because the loan deal for Cucurella from uh, Chelsea to Manchester United was almost done. After an initial request around 7 million pounds, an initial bid from Manchester United for the loan fee, I mean, around 1 million pound, the two clubs were ready to close the deal for three million pounds loan fee. There were some problems into the negotiation and one of the problem, uh, probably the most uh, important problem to mention, was about the break clause because Chelsea and player side both rejected a break clause for the loan deal in January. We know that Manchester United were looking for a temporary solution for the new left back because of the injuries of Luke Shaw and Malasia, so they wanted to cover that position with one more player, but maybe to let that player leave in January once the injured players will be back. And both Cucurella and Chelsea were not happen, happy with that um, break clause in January, so the deal collapsed because of that. A break clause was included in the deal for Sergio Reguillon from Tottenham to Manchester uh, United. Also, uh, May United were not happy with Chelsea playing Marco Cucurella in Carabao Cup uh, game. Why? Because uh, due to the rules, Cucurella was not allowed to play in Carabao Cup anymore with Manchester United in case he was going to join United from Chelsea. And so this is something that made United not so happy because they wanted to use their new left back uh, also in the Barac Carabao Cup games uh, in the next months. So some problems, some issues and the deal uh, collapsed. Uh, it's also important to say that for Mark Cucurella uh, there was something even in January from what I'm told, and this is an exclusive information, something behind the scenes, last January, January 2023, Manchester City, in a secret way, presented a proposal for Marco Cucurella. It was a loan with a buy option clause, not mandatory, uh, that was rejected by Chelsea. But Manchester City presented a loan plus buy option clause for Mark Cucurella in January, and Chelsea said no. This summer the situation was different because Chelsea received different approaches for Marco Cucurella. Uh, they tried to make something happen already in uh, end of July, beginning of August, with Red Bull Leipzig, with Sevilla, with Atletico Madrid, with Real Sociedad. All these clubs were in talks with Chelsea, but the player uh, decided to continue at Chelsea despite these loan proposals. Uh, also important to say, and this is the final part of the behind the scenes, that on deadline day, after the deal collapsed with Manchester United, Fulham tried to approach Chelsea over loan deal for Marco Cucurella, but uh, on player side it was a no, the player after the Manchester United story decided to call himself out of the transfer window and to continue at Chelsea and to fight for his place. So we will see what happens in January, but Fulham on deadline day, City in January, and also we know about May United, but Atletico Madrid, Leipzig, Real Sociedad, Sevilla, all these clubs were around for Marco Cucurella this summer, but the deal didn't happen. So let's see what's next for the Spanish left back. And also let's see what's next for Bruno Guimaraes. We heard rumors of a swap deal with uh, Rafinha early this summer with Barcelona and Newcastle involved, but that was never concrete. There was a lot of interest around Bruno Guimaraes this summer, but the answer from Newcastle was always the same. He's untouchable. We know the situation around the contract extension in July was quite uh, tense, also with some wars on the player side that uh, made Newcastle fans a bit worried on the situation. What I can tell you today, and this is an important update, is that the agreement between Bruno Guimaraes and Newcastle over a new long-term deal is very, very close. I would say imminent. It's about the final details, and then we will have the here we go for Bruno Guimaraes to extend and sign new deal at Newcastle. This is a huge boost, a huge news for Newcastle, because 
keeping a player like Bruno is like signing a new star. It's never so easy. The contract was still long, but it was important to give Bruno what he wanted in terms of contract, in terms of salary. And so it's imminent, the contract extension of Bruno Gimalaes. Very good progress on the contract negotiations. And so stay tuned because Bruno will sign new deal with Newcastle very soon. And so guys, let me know your thoughts on all these stories from Bruno Gimalaes to Marco Cureia. I want your opinion here in the comments. Remember to like this video, turn on the notification bell, subscribe to the channel. See you soon with Fabrizio.